All right, so uh, back to trying to rig up this little monstrosity so that it uh, has the nice little flaps that squish and stuff. So with some research, I found there is three different ways of accomplishing this. Uh, one is the method I was trying to do, um, but they, it requires a lot of extra complex stuff that just isn't feasible. Um, uh, the other is to leave this as a single plane. Well, technically it would be like three planes. It would be, you know, this triangle here, this triangle here, or cube, square, whatever it is. And uh, this one right here. And set everything to here just to zero. Uh, what happens at that point is when this moves... It's literally just the size of all the squares move with it automatically. Like there isn't any, uh, how do I put this? Let's do this and go back to object mode. And we will disable this one. So if everything below here is a zero on the white paint, uh, it won't rotate. Well, whereas this line right here has a one, so it will rotate, and what you'll get is this square will shrink or grow based on this position. Uh, that was the goal of uh, having a graduated um, vertex uh, vertex weight uh, from here zero to one. Uh, but the problem with that is it continues to rotate. Like any, any number above one would end up rotating past the point. Uh, it wouldn't work too terribly well because the wings go in multiple directions. It, it's complex math. So the second way is to um, just set these at zero and just let it naturally grow and shrink based on the wing position. Um, Another way of doing it is creating the bones that I was saying before, like you'd have a bone for each um, section. Oops, is that wrong? the right one? No, not vertex paint, weight paint. So it would have a bone between here and, and the wing that would shrink and grow. Uh, that's, that's one way of doing it, but that requires me to add more bones and I'm using Rigify and adding bones in the middle like that I think would break Rigify. Uh, I'm not certain about that. Uh, even if it doesn't, it would be just a pain. Um, and the last method is to use, set these all down to zero like uh, the other methods and use cloth simulator with them. And pin this to the arm and or to the wing bone, and pin this side to the body. Um, I don't know how well that would work. Um, like with a with a model that constantly changes, I don't know how well a cost simulator would work with that. Because, I mean, a, a wing isn't just like this flap of skin that folds up. It stretches. So it would have to be some, some method of stretching, which, you know, I, I think that's the method I'm going to go, I'm going to go with. Uh, just set these to zero and let it fold up naturally. I think that's what I'm go, going to go with. I'm going to try it. So to do that, what I'm going to do is right here, this is where I'm setting it to zero, and this is where I move this portion down. Like you can see, um, it basically takes the, uh, how do I describe this? Where the normal is pointing down, straight down in the Z direction, and moves it to the body. 
So it only picks the very bottom like line. So I'm going to use that to set all of those to zero. So I'm going to mute this, or unmute it, I should say. And I'm going to delete all of these because these aren't going to work. Delete all of these because these aren't going to work. So I need to somehow uh, take the existing stored, uh, no, no, just named a troop not stored. <coughs> Named attribute. And wherever this is true, I want this to be zero. And anywhere else, I just want it to be the normal whatever this is. So I'm going to multiply this I actually want this before it's moved because I this changes this changes the normal so I want to get the unedited version and change the uh, weight paint of it actually this needs to stay there so this goes up here and the easiest way to do that because this is binary zero one so because I want this to be zero anywhere this is true, I will multiply it by not. So wherever this is one, this will be zero, and I'm multiplying it by that. And anywhere this is false, it will be whatever this is. And I plug it into here. If I go back to weight mode, uh, you notice nothing changes, but that's because I'm looking at zero two. Oh, funny, because this is actually exactly what I was trying to get earlier. <laughs> oh, <coughs> so in trying to do something completely different, I get the exact effect that I was trying to get earlier. Yeah, I have that happen a lot. Uh, because the reason that it's got now had the gradient that I was looking for is because of the... Not because of the subdivision. What? Uh, what? Oh, it's because of the... the uh, I'm setting the vertex to the point instead of the face corner. Maybe that will do it. Regardless, let's see if that works. Because this is what I was trying to get at earlier. Let me re uh, re-enable the armor to ch So, what? That doesn't make sense at all. Let's see what the other wings look like. Which wing type is this? Five, so let's try two. One. Three. So three is in the right position. Four. Four is in the right position. Five. It doesn't get the right 
I bet you I don't have uh, the weights correctly because I uh, switched the um, uh, the the wing length earlier. So let's disable the armature. Let's see where the rig goes and compare that to weight paint. Nope, well, that's exactly in the right spot. That's uh, let's, that's an arm, okay. So it's not quite in the right spot. Um, it's like mixing, instead of having a straight line, it's mixing two. Because this should be red all the way to here. <coughs> so let's go to object mode and go to yeah it should be red all the way to here both of them in both directions should be red and should be stop right there actually let's look at this one over here see where this how this one because this one right here I remember stopped at a very sharp line uh, let's go to white paint and look at wing three see how that one's a very sharp just boom red line that's what should be right there So let me look at the the weight paints. Where, 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 where is weight paint? Where is my stored name to tribute? Ah, here's where I store the name to tribute. Okay, so greater than or equal to, ah, that's, that's probably it right there. Greater than or equal to, uh, let's do greater than. So how do I pick number three? So number three, very specifically the extruded extruded mesh <coughs> all right so Our points. Cast the side. So If I do nope, side or side, <coughs> or side, so this one would be the number two. This one would be number two. What happens if I undo that? Uh, and let's go back to greater than or equal to. And then see what this one looks like. So it looks exactly the same.
So I was playing around to see what I can get here. I mean, that actually, that part right there looks okay up until... This line right here looks jacked up. Uh, let's see. One and two. So let's do the same thing we did here, but for wing O2. And wing O3. Uh, let's see. Uh, shift duplicate, move it here. Shift duplicate again, move it there. Shift right click and drag to make a little nodule. So this will be two, this will be three. This will be two, enter, three, enter. And we need this one. So we'll do a little nodule there. Dink, oops. Eh, no. Dink. Another little thing there, and dink. Make it a little bit straighter. Uh Oh. <laughs> I'm like, why is that not working? Maybe because it's not attached to anything. Alright, so. That, in theory, should work. As far as, yeah, see, that, that does exactly what I was looking to do. Um, wow, that subdivision. Oh, that's because that subdivision eats it alive because of this one not being enabled. Enable that one, this subdivision, it creates a creates a line closer to here so this subdivision won't, you know, eat it all the way back up. <coughs> so go back to weight paint. And let's see what the armature looks like. Yeah, Alza. That that looks horrible. I mean this part let's uh hide the meta rig. See this is the, the part that I was talking about where it just moves. Um beyond what its limit's supposed to be. I need some way. All right, let's turn off this, turn off that. See here, it looks like it's behaving the way it's supposed to, but let's check on the inside. Oops, not that one, that one. Does it go, it does not go through the model. So it looks like it's behaving. It looks like it's behaving the way it's supposed to, but the subdivision breaks it. But I won't need that subdivision. The only reason I have that subdivision there is to uh, fix this one. See, 
Uh, once this is physically attached to the body, this won't be needed to fix this because it will be attached to the body. It won't pull up like that. So this might be the fix. I just got to fix this part right here. So what is what is wrong right there? So go back. Uh, so there, the the uh, the red is definitely too far over for wing two, and not far enough for wing one. So. Right here is where we fix it. Uh, let's do greater than. Alright, it just moves the. It just moves the trouble spot from one place to another. Uh, Let me, I want to see what the effect is. Pose mode. I want to rotate this. I don't want to go that way because that's. See, that one works where there's a nice, clean, delineated line. Go back to here, go back to object mode, weight paint. Where there's a nice, clean, delineated line, it just works. And that's will be that would be right there would be fixed by the uh, the subdivision surface that's applied afterwards. So I need a nice clean delineated line here. How do I get that when it's just kind of making it? <laughs> the software isn't doing the same thing even when I tell it to do the same thing twice. Like this, the, the third part of the wing is created by ext extrude mesh. And I'm just saying, here, pick the sides of the two extruded meshes and make that number three. When I do the exact same thing over here, it doesn't work. And I don't know why. Like I do the same thing twice and get two different results. Uh, let's disable the armature. Like there, uh, there shouldn't be any green over here. It just shouldn't. I don't know why there is. It makes no sense to me. There shouldn't be any green. It should be a nice straight red line. Just like it is on this side. Am I changing that anywhere? Like, am I erasing? So if I add in this side here, it extends it all the way to the end. I don't know why. How 
do I get a nice sharp line? Actually, even without the sharp line, it should just work. Like, I mean, it's the output is a zero or a one, but I'm getting results that are not. Uh, that has to be because it's a one on one side and a zero on the other of a single face. So let's look right here. And I think the reason that it gets a nice sharp line here is because I have a like a tenth of a meter difference. So I extend this one, if I try to add this one in here, so if that's the case, I should be able to create a, f a basically cut off by extruding the mesh. Let's put this here and then put this here and move this selection to here. Move the top to here. Move that to there. Then select that. Or not. Let's just do that one then. And this should be not this one. Not. So one. Oh, no. Uh, how do I put it? Okay, so that ends up get, but it's a nice straight line. So nice straight lines, good. That's what I'm aiming for. So I can get rid of all this. So I need Let's 
see. And now let's try and. Not this one. Put that in there. Now let's see what we get. Ha ha! Ha ha! Now one, two, three, and they all have the sliding scales, which are perfectly done. Uh, so. Let's see if that does what it's supposed to do. Uh, that essentially, if you put it back over and let's see, object mode. And yeah, this does look really ugly. But if you do a subdivision surface, it looks a lot smoother like insanely much 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 smoother uh, but if you attach it to the body it won't pull up like that so I think I got the armature done so now I have to attach this underlying edge which would be uh, this wait actually it'd be this right here this right here um, I can move to the nearest uh, let's see proximity source position would be this hit position and then so what I do is I'd move this to here I'd move this to here and I would use the body target as the target. So let's duplicate this one. And I'm going to go to points. And then change this to here. All right, so that did a, I, let me turn so this, okay, so. What that did is instead of going to the hit position, it goes to the nearest point on the body. So now it lines up perfectly with the body. And then I can do Uh, I still got a little edge right there. How am I going to fix that edge? Because these these are all good. Well, I mean that's not quite good. Um, so I need this right here to have exactly the same number of points as this right here or what I have to do is I have to move these points to the nearest ooh that's really really far away too because this has this huge gap right here but I have to find some way of merging these points in a line and then uh, I'll use merge by distance well, let's just put that in there just right now just to see oh this is just the wings uh, that wouldn't help any it actually needs to be that needs to be somewhere else Yeah, 
like that. I was thinking about uh, merge by distance and having like the output, but you. Um, I was thinking about doing merge by distance, and using like uh, the body target with that. But there's no merge by distance doesn't have two inputs, uh, so I have to use it over here after it's joined which I might not want to do because it might add too much there. So let me see what this does. Merge by distance, 8 milliseconds. Okay, so this is what happens when you have uh, all these other points not there. Actually, that doesn't look terrible. <laughs> I mean, it looks wonky. interesting. Uh, let's go back out. Go back to wings. And let's see what happens when I turn this back on. Let's turn the armature back on. Okay, that just looks horrific. Let's turn the subdivide off. I mean, we're getting there. These were merged in with the back. That would be exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, ignore this one completely because I haven't got the uh, uh, vertex weight groups. But if this was flush with the back, this would be exactly what we're looking for. So, I have to find some way of making the points line up perfectly so that I can merge them. And that is much easier said than done. Alright, let's turn this one off and turn this one off. So how many additional points do I have? All right, let's turn that back on. How many does that get? That gives me a lot of points. It gives me too many points. Alright, so now, and I don't want to go all the way down to the, like, the butt, so I'm going to change, where is it, over here is how far down, no, that's not it, where is it, ah, it's actually right here, this part right here, so let's go, negative point three. All right. So the issue is the further down you go, I don't want it to go down to the hips. So that's like a negative point two. The issue is the further you go down, the closer these points get.
the first thing I need to do is uh, cut out a square here and then attach these points here. That would be the first thing I would need to do. Then how can I do this? How can I do this? Oh, this is most of my time making this model is figuring out creative ways of doing uh, absurdly difficult tasks. Stuff that's brain dead easy when you're doing just basic modeling. Uh, but when you're doing geometry nodes, it's just like, how do I do X, Y, and Z? And that there aren't any tutorials on like, how do I merge two pieces together with a different, um, and no, I don't do booleans. <laughs> I'm telling you, just don't do booleans. Uh, mesh boolean, um, it's, oh, how do I put this? It's very, very slow. Um, like if I did mesh booleans, my, my time would go from like 6.8 milliseconds to like 1500 milliseconds. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nuts. So the correct way to do it is to figure out the math formula to merge these things together. Uh. I'll have to think about this one. So I think this is a good place to leave it off and I'll have to come back and think about this some more. Uh, one. Most likely what I'll do is uh, like manually move these points up instead of doing Instead of doing a ray trace here, I will most likely manually move these up to like the corresponding uh, point on the body. Yeah, it's extremely tedious. And that's why there are 6,000 nodes, because some of the stuff you just can't do easily, and you'll have to just do it one point at a time. It's a pain. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but I won't take a break for now, and I'll come back to it once I do give it some more thought.